Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri, and as promised, I did post this video of this guy walking in the water. So, just is take a look. So I made this video and I posted it on my YouTube channel um, and I asked you guys like if you wanted a tutorial about it and even I posted it in my Instagram page so you can go there and check some of my works out it's called effects with Sayed so I did post it there and I asked you guys if you wanted to if you wanted me to do a tutorial about it and you guys said yes and a bunch of people actually asked for it so that's what I'm gonna do today so alright so let's get started I have this uh, character I've downloaded it online and it is animated and I think he's even he's even doing some sort of like a blinking thing which is really cool um, but the thing that matters for us is our uh, the movement that we have so if you don't have this character you can go into this website called mixamo.com and they have a lot of built-in characters and you can go ahead and choose from the different animations so combat adventure and I just typed in like walking so you can have a lot of movements just click on it and it'll apply and then you can download it and bring it into 3d studio max so let's get started so we'll be using Phoenix FD for this so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into Phoenix FD and liquid sim I'm just going to drag one out here just this much and give it give it like this much height so the height here is really important if I go into the left view so we want we want it to be um, about his neck so what I'm gonna do is just go into the Y size I believe not the Y the Z I guess so just decrease this till the height of his neck and the other thing that is that if you go into the last frame I've simulated 200 frames but in this case I'm just gonna do a hundred frames so um, if you go here I'm just going to increase the Y size to be that much and make sure that it is this part of the grid so now I am very sure that it's gonna encompass the whole animation so that is looking really nice and the other thing that I'm going to do is I need to do an initial fill so I want this to be already filled with liquid and then the character will walk around and it will basically generate some foam and some particles so um, that's that's basically the effect so it's pretty simple let's go into the dynamics first off I wanna change the steps per frame to 2 and that, what that will do is that will basically uh, give more steps to the simulation to be able to process it and uh, calculate it properly so the more steps you have the more uh, I mean especially for fast moving liquids is like when you have some sort of emitter or a liquid which is moving really fast and the simulation the Phoenix FD simulation couldn't really get up with it so you can just uh, compensate with increasing the steps per frame so in a nutshell it's just basically it's gonna over uh, increase the quality of your simulation I mean emotion wise so uh, the other thing is I'm just going to set the time scale to 0.7 I wanna make it look a bit slower and the very important thing is that I want to do an initial fill of a hundred percent so because it is up, uh, till about his neck I want it to be filled like fully and then only his head will be above the water surface so uh, that's that's a that's about it so I'm just gonna go and let's simulate so let's see here alright so I've just simulated like one frame and you can see that already the box or the simulation grid is full of water so that's what we want and the next thing is uh, we don't need to do anything s special with this because it's already pretty big so if you want you can go ahead and increase the quality for your final sim I think I did about here it is like uh, 13 million cells so I did like uh, thrice the size so probably like 45 45 million cells or something so I just increased it twice and uh, the other thing is the most important thing is foam of course so if you want to enable foam and we want to create we want to create a particle shader for it to render so I'll just say yes and it will basically create a foam shader so the the important thing about this foam is is that we want the amount to be very very less um, 
in the original example I uh, I believe I did like 0.8 or something because it's going to generate a lot of foam and since the character is moving so it's going to be a lot throughout the animation so you want to set it to like 0.8 and even it, if it is like uh, if you get a simulation it's a lot more then you can you can change it in the foam shader as well so there's like a, a count multiplier but you want to make sure that you don't simulate like more than you need basically so I, was, I just set it to like 0.8 and then the size variation just a little bit and uh, the type I've set it to uh, bubbles uh, I think in the shader so I've just set it to like uh, bubbles which will take a bit of a uh, longer time to render but it's just gonna make it a bit more realistic and then I'm just going to take the size down a little bit we can do that later also but since I've already done the simulation and then you can give it just some size variation so that is basically everything you need to do in order to get it to look right and then you can just go ahead and hit simulate and if I go into the Phoenix FD grid I've just basically went into the preview and turned on show mesh so here it is show mesh so now we have our mesh this uh, full body of water I'm just I'm not gonna simulate this because you've already seen the result you can just simulate and get the result and you have to play around with it a couple of times in order to get the right sort of motion uh, so the, the other thing that I'm gonna show you guys is how to set up the render and the shader for the water so if I look at my example right here you can see that the water is kinda like a dark sort of bluish thing and you can see some splashes of the water some some bursts that are happening are coming out of the character's thing and uh, some of the people were saying in the comments I just posted in a Facebook group some of the people were saying that he, he will not be able to walk in like a real-time thing so you can just do a little bit like slow him down a little bit so it'll it'll make it look like the uh, the air uh, sort of underwater it's kind of like preventing him from walking that much fast like real time but you know I didn't I didn't realize that until I have done the simulation so you can do it make it a little bit slow and make it look like he's actually like slow walking underwater like you would in a real sort of case scenario but that's like I didn't realize that so you can you can do that so I'm just gonna uh, set up the lighting for this so I'm just gonna show you guys how to set up a material and a light and of course for the lighting I used uh, V-Ray so I'm just gonna go to render setup and I'm just going to set this to VR5 which is already set and the next thing I'm going to do is create a V-Ray plane for this so V-Ray plane anywhere in the scene hit M for the material so I'm just gonna drop a standard material onto the ground onto the V-Ray plane so I'll just let it be there I want to make sure that it is like not too bright because the light is gonna be a little bit bright alright the next thing is I'm just gonna go into the lights and add a V-Ray sign so and I want to add the V-Ray sky as well so yes just increase the height or just move it up and it's time for uh, for the shader for the material of the water so I'm just gonna hit M so the thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a V-Ray material double click and uh, I'm just gonna make it black in color give it some reflection and give it some glossiness and also give it like full refraction so it's gonna be refractive and the most important thing is the IOR or the index of refractions so for water it is basically 1.33 so you can just set it set it up so different sort of liquid materials have different IORs so you can go ahead and google that alright so the other thing that I'm going to do is if I just apply this right now it's gonna be a very transparent material so if I go ahead into the V-Ray IPR First off, it is very bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rendering environment in the exposure control, set it to V-Ray exposure control, and just disable that. Don't show this again. And show it again. 
So now we will be having our material, but it is very bright and it looks like we haven't applied our standard material onto the viewer plane. So it is getting quite reddish at the moment. So now it's, I think, fine. So right now, uh, you can see that the particles are there. So I don't want to see the particles in the preview. So I'll just go into the Phoenix FD properties preview and show particles turn that off so just go ahead where is it particle preview so now we have our water but it is like transparent so we can't we can't really see it I mean we can see it but it's just too transparent right so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go hit M just uh, disable this hit M into the water and I'm just gonna give it some fog color so this is a very very sensitive value so even if I select like a blue color and I go like this much it'll totally change you can see that it'll totally change the look of the water make it very blue so you want to be careful with this so you just want to increase it like even like one will be like this much so you can you can see how sensitive this value is so I'm just gonna say like to this kind of like light bluish color and now if I go into the Vray IPR you can see that it's actually it's actually looking pretty blue so that is very close to what I had here and of course I've done some color correction in After Effects and added motion blur and stuff and yeah just just go ahead and simulate it and uh, you will get that result you know so I haven't simulated like a frame but when you simulate maybe you'll get much foam a lot more foam so you can just go ahead and decrease it and once you've simulated it and maybe you get a lot of foam so you can go ahead and decrease the count multiplier so I had ended up uh, you know decreasing this to a very low number because I was getting a lot of foam so because I've just simulated it so you just have to decrease this like 0 0.2 0 0.1 or even lower so that is basically uh, it for today's tutorial so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I mean I haven't like I've just showed you the settings and you can just go ahead and simulate it yourself and let it simulate for a couple of hours and then render it and then bring it after effects and composite it so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to go and subscribe if you like the content and give it a thumbs up and again here's our uh, second music channel our audio aura so if you're into video production and uh, you want to uh, have some really high quality free royalty no copyright music you can go ahead and check out our channel and our music and if you want to follow me on Instagram with my works and stuff, so you can just go ahead, effects with Sayyid. This is my photo, and uh, you can just go ahead and follow me there. So, again, this was the today's tutorial. And until next time, enjoy working.